But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Girl Survives and indeed welcome to Between the Stars. This is a demo for a an upcoming game which is currently on Kickstarter and looks really really good. Um, this was brought to my attention by uh, Crumpet, one of my fantastic subscribers. So thank you so much for this Crumpet, I, I, I really do appreciate the fact that you PM me and sent me this. If anybody else sees any really cool games that they think I should take a look at, please do do the same as Crumpet. Uh, we've got a link to a Discord um, in the video below, so please do join my Discord. Feel free to PM me if you see something that you think is suitable for the channel. Now, uh, this game is, uh, I suppose you might call it a third-person third action RPG. Uh, it's stated to be kind of an open world game there's going to be lots of decision making for you as you go lots of upgrading of one of your ships you see some various ships kind of coming along here and it's supposed to evolve as you go along and every time you do a playthrough it will be a slightly different experience for you so it should be very very interesting uh they have released a demo which is uh, what i'm about to play for you I think that's very responsible for a game developer. Most game developers these days go straight into early access uh, without releasing any demos or anything like that. So you're not really sure what you're getting and you're not sure if the game's going to be finished. But um, having a, a full, proper, free, amazingly free, there's going to be a link in the description below, demo. It's pretty incredible uh, and I think it's a great way to uh, consider them for Kickstarter because you'll know really what you're getting into. You'll actually have been able to play the game. What a fantastic decision from the developers, so hats off to you. Right, let's click Prologue, and we're going to be James Scott. Now, I gather that the, uh, the, this prologue that they've created for the demo, this isn't as open as the, uh, as the proper full game will be. Uh, you do have set decisions, and there is a set storyline for this prologue, but uh, I have played through it the once already, and it's still... Oh, hello. Alert. Systems damaged. Warp drive pressure increasing. Uh-oh. Crew, boost warp drive to full power. Full power? But Captain! I said full power. That's an order! Redistributing power. Capacitors charging in four, three... Just a bit Ooh. more! Oh! We didn't make it. <laughs> warp successful. Okay, so here we We've are. We've made it. Really like the particle effects here. All right, we have made it. Let's see what we need to do. Hi, damage analysis. Starting damage assessment protocol. Testing main engines. Okay, the engine's power is adjustable. There are four indicators displaying the speed. Green indicators for your forward speed and red indicators for rearward speed. They're in the bottom right hand corner there. Move the mouse wheel up to increase throttle and move forward. There we go. And move it down to decrease speed and reverse. There Moderate damage. Engines operational. There is a bit of damage there, Testing isn't there? We can see it. Systems. It looks like one of our engine blocks is out as well. Okay, uh, keep W and S uh, to tilt forward and backward. There we go, nice and easy there. Q and E to turn the ship left and right. And A and D to rotate the ship. Navigation systems operational. Cool. Testing power systems. Okay, the energy uh, control system allows you to reassign power to shields, weapons, or engines. Nice and simple. In the panel below, you will see three gauges displaying the disbursement of energy. That's in the bottom right-hand corner as well. Use the up arrow to reassign all energy to weapons. There we go. Left arrow to assign all energy to engines. And right arrow to assign all energy to shields. Power distribution correct. There you go, let's just put it into central. You do that with a single uh, press of the button Captain, rather than two. We're detecting warp signatures in the vicinity. Okay, press X to look We've behind me. Alright, good to know. We have been followed, folks. Right, let's assign power to weapons a little bit. And let's get in there. See an enemy ship coming up here. Ooh, I'm down there. Alright, let's see what we can do about this enemy ship. There goes one. Let's move up, focus on our next target. Oh, 
just run out of juice. There goes another. Who's next, baby? Love the volumetric effects. Boom. Reinforcement incoming. We need more firepower. More firepower we can do. Okay, there's an enemy ship over there. There is also one. Ooh, right next to us. Let's turn ourselves around. Okay, so it's asking us to use a nuke, which is the number two button. One of our shields has fallen. Don't worry about it, we're fine. Give our shields the opportunity to recharge, I'll reassign a little bit of power to those. And we'll head away from the enemies for a moment because it's our front shield that's fallen. That indicator is in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, here we go. Shield's still not recharging, let's try and take an oblique angle. We're going to press 1 for super duper fire. Oh, 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 oh. She went down like a sack of bananas. We are taking a little bit of damage. Here's an enemy ship. side. Let's roll ourselves back round and give it a punishing final volley. Boom! Good work team. Is everyone alright? Captain, I've determined this news will cause a decline in crew morale of 64.7%. Oh, no. That's quite but a decline. I must inform you that the enemy bypassed our shields. Two casualties confirmed. Okay, so, once destroyed, that's a shame, uh, once destroyed, enemy ships can be looted in order to, to obtain, obtain salvage pods. In order to search for salvage, fly close to a ship and place your cursor over it. Once the ship becomes a holographic image, look for the red point. There it is. And place the cursor over it. Hold the fire button in order to salvage the loot. Boom. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, what I'll do is I'll salvage everything here. Because <clears throat> it stands to reason that I would do so. Not sure how I feel about this uh, this red overlay. Uh, I have played it previously, and there was a more bluey overlay, and it was arguably m more attractive. But that's something that you'll find in, e in each system and in each playthrough. There'll be a different kind of color overlay, as far as I can tell. Get over there. My health is at twenty one percent. That is not great. I'm going to salvage everything before I continue with the, tutor with the tutorial. Because I'm nothing if not a completionist. Three more ships to go. <clears throat> One thing I did find is the initial control scheme is a little bit difficult to get used to. Uh, and I suspect that the reason behind that is by virtue of the fact that we're very much used to... Uh, W and D turning us left and right. So, you often use... Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> you often use W in place of what would be Q in this one. So it's Q and E that actually turns your ship directly. Uh, w just rolls your ship. Where was that one? Last one. Get ourselves into full power. I'm going to put myself onto a balanced power. Oopsie daisy. <clears throat> Should probably stop ramming things given my low health. <laughs> oh, I'm ramming it again. Oh well. There we go. Okay. You can see that there is actually a shield effect um, when you ram things accidentally. So there we go. Let's press I to go into our inventory. And unfortunately, we've got two crew members here Dmitry Zaitsev and. Uh, uh, Jayaho Kwan. That is highly unfortunate. Let's take a look at some of these. We've got a salvage pod here. We can open it. Oh, it's like loot boxes, isn't it? Only they're free. <laughs> okay. A couple of bits and bobs there. Got a common loot pod here. We'll open all of these. See if they do anything of import. Okay. 
Nice few credits here. Ooh, ooh. Lots of stuff. <clears throat> this one could be an interesting one. Nice rare loot box. Okay, so from in that one we got some calcite, which is rare. So as you can tell, folks, there are lots of different resources in the game. Credits is something that you use to repair your ship and buy and sell items. We'll come to that a little bit later. You also have protonite, synthetic mycenite, uh, minusite, yes, minusite, hardened urovite, argonic crystal, calcinite. Uh, and then, I think these are specials, I'm not sure though. Quantum Core, Black Argax, and I find Siderium. Uh, so each of these you'll be able to use to uh, upgrade your weapons, uh, perhaps upgrade the hull of your ship, etc, etc. Also on this menu you can see that we have a reputation with Pirates and Smugglers and the SMC Galactic, Intergalactic Corporation. I imagine that your decisions uh, throughout the course of the game will influence your um, the way that other factions see you. Um, so, System you analysis. may choose to be a pirate. Critical. Repairs needed immediately. Alright, Mai, what's our current position? Okay, what is our current we position? We are currently in the Thamasic sector. It is on the outskirts of the Interstellar Republic's headquarters. <clears throat> we should be able to reach it using our drive engines. Okay. Preparing warp drive. Alright, the stellar map allows quick travel between nearby sectors. Open it up and jump to the tacit stellar sector. Press M. Ooh, this is the map that you can see. Whoops, Warp drive see. engines oh. damaged. Jump impossible. Right, sorry uh, about that. My, which is the closest space station in this sector? It's the trade station and Terra's port. Okay, set in the coordinates. Coordinates set. Okay, so we're in a three-dimensional three map here. I just wanted to show this off a little bit before I... Uh, before I did anything else, but I accidentally tabbed out by pressing on something. So, what we can see here is we're around Thamma 6, because you can see our little ship uh, going round and round it there. there are, there's an enemy line sector over there. Many of them are unreachable. <clears throat> and you simply click on the sector that you wish to go to, which is connected by a, uh, a line, a kind of a phase line. It's a nice three-dimensional map. I imagine this is a lot smaller than the final game map. But it looks super cool. Right, let's get out of the map. Uh, what we need to do is we need to approach a, a local station because our warp drive is damaged. We can hit space to charge Bye. our quantum Situation engines. Report on Antero's port. Little bar on the right hand side of our reticule. Whoopsie this station daisy. serves as a crucial hub for business tycoons and mining sector speculators. It has a large port specialized for trade freighters that return full of materials from mining settlements. They also swear they have the best beet soup recipe in the universe. I just got bounced off an asteroid there. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Luckily it didn't seem to do any damage this time. Right, here we go. Here is the station that we are arriving at. Now you can press uh, space again to stop at any time, but you will also stop when you come into close contact with any nearby objects. Okay. Captain Scott from the 5th Republic Fleet, <coughs> we apologies. request docking permission. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Okay, so we've got a dock at bay 3. Receiving coordinates. Establishing communication. Docking protocol prepared. Okay, so let's just uh, take ourselves in nice and slow so I can say what it says here. When you reach a friendly ally station, you'll be assigned a docking bay. You'll be highlighted as operational. To dock, fly the highlighted air into the highlighted area and fly into the light. <laughs> if you need more precision of movement, you can make use of lateral and vertical thrusters. Right, so we have got into the green light. We just need to stop now and wait for a few seconds, as it says here. And then the auto docking procedure will pull us into the station. Ah, and we are docked. Wonderful stuff. Welcome to the station. I love the way it says Kickstarter up there. <laughs> okay, you discover a great commotion around the freighters on the station when you exit your ship. You hear shouts from all angles and merchants bidding ever-increasing numbers over merchandise. 
Your crew and yourself leave the freighters behind and search for a repair workshop. You find yourself looking at the neon lights when someone bumps into your shoulder. You look down. Ouch, that hurt. It's a scruffy young woman who begins to collect spanners and metallic objects of all sorts that she had on her as she tries to steady herself. Oh, bless her. No, that, that really was my fault. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. You can't say, what the fuck are you doing? But we're not going to do that. Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. No, it was my fault entirely. I doubt whether it was her fault. We were just looking around like a pleb. Oh, excuse me, Captain. I'm so sorry. My name is Susan. I'm the head of the Pulsar Ship Repair Workshop. What can I do for you? Actually, we're just looking for a repair shop for our ship. You walk together to the docking bay where your ship is located. Susan rubs her eyes incredulously. No way. A KP... 564SC warship. <laughs> yeah, no way. It's completely totaled. How did you manage to... Susan sighs deeply. Alright, we can do it, but it won't be cheap or easy. The repair cost highly exceeds your credit amount account. After negotiating, you agree to handle a series of tasks for her in return for payment. In the meantime, they shall give you a completely operational ship. Well, that's nice of them. Susan, uh, do you know where we can find the transmission room? Of course, Captain. There's a transmission bay in the next district over. I can show you the way. Large space stations often have a transmission system highly superior to that of normal ships, allowing for cross-sector communications. That's probably something that's going to be important as we go uh, along in the game. Or at least in the main game. I don't think it is in this particular demo. You walk through the station until reaching the transmission bay, where you encounter two guards. After identifying yourself, you're allowed to pass and spot the transmission crew busily sending coordinates and data to nearby stations. You're granted a terminal in order to send a situation report to the Republic. Let's perform the transmission. Scott says, Captain Scott here. <laughs> we're, transmitting, uh, we're transmitting from the Antares port uh, station in Thamma 6. Admiral Xiao says, Captain Scott, we were expecting your arrival two Earth days ago. Explain the situation. We got attacked. It was pretty unfortunate. <laughs> okay, right. Scott says, yes, sir, we ran into problems. We were, we were following the trail of a slaver network in the Lithoba 1 sector. We infiltrated their base and obtained a crucial part of their information that you asked us for. But our scientists are still unable to decipher it. During our retreat, we were ambushed by an assault fleet. We thought we'd left them behind when we arrived at this sector, but we were un intercepted. Oh my. We finally managed to finish off the enemy ships, but two of my crew members have lost their, li lost their lives, and the Genesis was practically destroyed. Admiral Xiao says, I'm sorry to hear that, Captain. We'll give them the sending off they deserve. What's your ship's current status? Our ship is pretty heavily damaged. Currently, it's an operative. As soon as it's repaired, we'll return to the headquarters uh, for the Stellar Summit. We're not sure what the Stellar Summit is yet. Admiral Xiao says, As one of the most experienced captains of the Republic, your presence is requested as head escort and reception of our guests. Every governing body of the universe shall be present, and will set aside their differences in favour of a new era of peace and prosperity. Or will they? Foreshadowing. Don't worry, Admiral. We will arrive before the visit starts. Okay, so let's go to the store is a button down here and take a look at what we can do um the first thing that we're going to do as you can see here the space station panel is where all offered services are presented in the crew section you'll be able to hire different crew members for your ship's positions if you have any dead members oh my remember to hand them in at the funeral services in order to free up some cargo space <laughs> maybe it's to give them a nice send-off rather than simply to free up cargo space but okay <laughs> This is a guide. Um, store section has the possibility to purchase different equipment. The contract panel gives you the possibility to accept different missions in return for rewards. The stash allows you to store salvage pot for use on new run-throughs. Oh, that's cool. So if we get our ship to exactly where we want it in one playthrough, we can store a load of salvage pods. Epic and legendary ones. Uh, and then when we start a new game, it's kind of like New Blade, New Game Plus, and we can actually retrieve those and get really decent stuff off the bat. That is, that's a nice way of doing things, and I quite enjoy that. So let's make a funeral, shall we? Oh. There we go. Both of our guys have had a funeral. Goodbye to you all. And we can see that there is a contract here. So this contract panel gives us something. Uh, if you move out the way, there we go. In order to repair a ship, we'll need an ion reactor. This wouldn't usually be a problem if we had the needed materials, but this isn't the case. Uh, we haven't had any news from the Space Freighter E-32 Pulsar repair ship uh, in two Earth days. A crew isn't answering any hails, and the last coordinates show it is having an asteroid field known in an asteroid field known as the Anteros' Cemetery. Again, foreshadowing. We'll need you to find them. Okay, investigate the area and recover the cargo. We'll accept that contract. And we'll also take a quick uh, peek at our ship. We can go to Systems 
and this shows our ship as it is currently. Uh, we've got a couple of plasma cannons, uh, we have a light cannon of the Republic, we've got a cloaking generator, that should be fun. Pulse generator, um, so that's going to put a pulse around our ship. We have a mine launcher, I don't know how useful that will be. And the nuclear missile launcher, Mark 1. The nuclear missile launcher was quite useful in the last bit. Okay, let's take a look at our departments. We can add crew members to each one, as as discussed. Now, often, um, we can see that we can have Wanda in here, or Marina. They both have skill level 4, but if we check the scrapping workshop, which they're kind of intertwined, the engineering and scrapping workshop, uh, it, I note that Wanda is significantly better than Marina. So what we'll do is we'll put Marina up here and Wanda down there to make sure that we're making best use of our facilities. Over here, both <clears throat> both of our scientists have a medical skill of four, but down here, there we go, Hiroshi has much better research skills, so let's put her down there. Just like that. There we go, we have popped our crew members in. And one of our scientists has actually leveled up. Um, Hiroshi. Now, you were the one that was very good at investigation, so what we'll actually do is we'll put another point into investigation there. Boom, there we go. And of course, hopefully Randall will level up at some point. Is there anybody that needs to go to the sick bay? No. What about the research lab? Nothing that we can do right now. Any scrapping we can do? Yeah, they're bits of our ship, let's not. <clears throat> and in this particular segment over... Oopsie daisy, come on. In the engineering workshop, you can build things. So if we wanted a flak cannon, uh, for example, we could build it there. Interceptor lasers, we've got intelligent missile launchers, shotguns. Uh, for very close work. Uh, Cannon of the Republic. So yeah, some pretty nice stuff there. We, we don't want to build anything right now because it may well be that we'll get something as uh, a salvage. Now you can see that we can take a second look at any tasks that we've undertaken over here in the tasks button. Uh, tasks part. And of course uh, we can upgrade our crew members as we just showed. Oh Hiroshi. <laughs> oh my. Um... And we can get more crew members as well. James Scott is our captain. You can see that they've each got their own little uh, visuals of who they are. I'm not sure how I feel about these characters. They look like Sims characters, and that kind of bothers me a little bit. So maybe an update or a, well, frankly, an improvement to the, to the art style might be nice. I have noticed that at present the voice acting is a little bit hammy as well. Um, that's to be expected for an indie game, uh, if I'm honest. But... Uh, but it is very, very hammy. <laughs> okay, right, so let's leave the station with this button and exit. Everyone got, we're in a different post. ship now. We must find that missing freighter. While Captain, our ship is indisposed. Do you think it could have been an attack? It's strange. If it had been an attack, the security systems would have asked for a security detail from the station, and they would have come to its aid. They could have used a signal inhibitor to cut communications. They could. The asteroid cluster where the ship was seen doesn't correspond to any commercial route. Decree M22, under Republic law, restricts commercial routes in order to guarantee the safety of its freighters. This behavior would be a direct violation of Organic Space Law 412, Section 2, Slash 08. <laughs> I love the term Organic Space Law. Wow, the lighting of this game is really, really nice. really is good. That, that shadow as, as we passed under an asteroid there was, was really quite beautiful. Right, we have entered into quantum... Uh, there you go, there it is again, the shadow. Uh, mode in order to get to the Antorus Freighter's last known location all the way over here. It was about 200 kilometers away, so... Going there at basic speed would probably have not have been very good. We've arrived okay. at the Freighter's last known coordinates, Captain. That doesn't look good. There doesn't appear to be anything here. My, can you scan the area? I detect irregular radiation readings coming from the middle of the cluster. Let's okay. take a look. I should I should probably wait until it tells me what to do so you guys know what to do as well. But once we approach m closely enough in the asteroid field, we will find the black box. At least I assume that this is the black box. It's got a little radio thing about Captain, it. Captain, we found the source of the radiation. We should proceed to scan. Okay. Affirmative. My prepare the analysis module. So to, the scan system. Very good. To analyze things, uh, you basically hold right-click down and stare at the object that you want to scan. 
like so. Make sure you keep it in the reticule for a while. Little yellow bar goes to the top. There you go. It's scanned. It's a fragment of the freighter's calibration reticle. I am 98% positive that the damage and radiation emissions confirm a plasma cannon attack. Okay. This looks like the result of an attack. My, can you follow the radiation signature? Comparing samples. Similar readings found in nearby coordinates. Okay, so there are similar readings all the way up here. One thing that you can do at any point in the game that you choose to is you can press P and you go into something called photo mode, which allows you to kind of drift around and really take a good look at things. So if we want to take a look at this broken up, destroyed freight, it's a big one. There you go, this is the freighter. I imagine this is probably a ship that you can buy and uh, and fly. Or a type of ship that you can buy and fly. Cool, actually, I really like this ship. Now, I suspect, although I'm not sure, that I have had ships like this before, or at least of a similar design before. Uh, looking at the design features of this ship, um, I note that Somebody um, has created a ship set on Stellaris with ships of a very, very similar design to this. The Kuragame uh, ship set looks very much like these uh, for Stellaris. Uh, so uh, these might well be Unity Unity store assets. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, please do tell me if I'm wrong. Well, there we go. I think we've done enough searching around, so if we press P again... We will go back to our ship and let's continue the storyline. Sorry for that little uh, little break there, <laughs> where I had a look around. And you can take screenshots, you can change the zoom, etc. So it, it's quite a nice way, if you think something is really beautiful, it allows you to take a good screenshot. That's one of the nicest things about this game is it's, it, it is very, very attractive. Hello, there are enemies here, or potential Captain, enemies. Let's here. up our shields Shall and engines. Of course. Affirmative. Ex Cleo, commander of the starship insurrection of the pirate fleet here. The pirate fleet! I order your immediate retreat. This frigate is now under our control. Surrender, or we'll open fire. Oh my. This is the captain of the warship Genesis of the Interstellar Republic. I demand you halt your activities immediately. Captain Scott? Of the warship Genesis? In that hunk of chunk? Genesis? <laughs> you asked for right, it. Looks like we're going to have a fight. Arms. All weapons. Let's give this guy the good news. There goes one. Who's closer? You are. Oh, there you go. We've just lost our... Uh, main weapon. There goes a nuke. Let's give him the good news. <laughs> I like the nukes. Uh, let's take a look and see what happens if we engage our cloak drive. Ooh, that's, that's beautiful. Right. Looks like he wants to ram us. And let's finish him off. Perfect, well done. Okay, we finished off the enemy ships. Let's give them a good salvaging, shall we? Captain, the ship's remains correspond to the freighter we've been searching for. We have to look for survivors and confirm the shipment was in fact stolen. Preparing to board. All right, we have boarded the freighter. Uh, you enter what's left of the freighter bay doors, uh, and the, as the freighter bay doors close behind you, within it you find the remains of what used to be an enormous commercial freighter. You can see that all sorts of supplies and objects on the floor, accompanied by what were once their crew. After some time searching the corridors, you come to a passage with two possible paths. We're going to go to the right. Your crew and you advance through the corridor you've chosen. The further into the ship you go, the more you get the feeling that you're not alone. <laughs> After a while, you reach another crossway. Let's go to the right again. After walking in circles, you arrive at the hallway and a bay door that opens in front of you. Okay. Uh, through the door frame, and still within the darkness, you're able to make out a faint light. Ah, let's go for it. As soon as you enter, the bay doors close and the lights turn on. At the end of the room, you see the raw protonite shipment attacked in, uh, stacked in rows that emit rays of light. 
the robotic voice a robotic voice surprises you. It seems that the ship's uh, to be the ship's my system, so that's the AI system. Intrud intruders detected in the loading bay, activating security pro protocol, opening evacuation bay doors. Oh no, they're gonna kill us. We're, we're not intruders. Or halt, we're a crew of the Genesis of the Republic. Let's go with that one. The AI waits a few seconds and begins to speak again. Opening, suspended, validating credentials. Error, they are intruders. Uh, I could say, no, I'm Captain Scott. We're here to rescue the freighter. Not much chance of that, really. The AI system hesitates for a few seconds, establishing analysis. Probability of intruders not being identified as intruders, 100%. <laughs> you hear the servo motors of the evacuation bay doors screech. Ah... Uh, if you open the bay doors, the shipment will be lost. Negative. The shipment has been anchored here to ensure its security. You can see the chests have mechanical anchors latched to the floor. Some are completely damaged. Okay, then. We're intruders. 0% <laughs> probability that the intruders are identified as intruders. Establishing analysis. Error. The AI begins to calculate the probabilities while it seems confused. Okay. Um, only someone who isn't an intruder would claim they are. <laughs> That's not true at all. If the intruder claims it is an intruder, probability, protocol, incompatible. As it examines different, uh, as it exclaims different errors, you hear the voice shut down due to a logic error. The bay doors close, you're now out of danger. Whew. Remind me never to upset our mind. Okay, you load the chests of protonite onto the ship, and you look for a registry of what could have happened. The engineers search through the few working terminals left, but all data appears to be corrupt. You make a security copy to be able to study it later. Except, so we've got the Let's ship go from back to the station to inform Susan. of raw protonite now. What kind of pirates assault a protonite freighter just to abandon it? That's a good question. Clear's weapons do not correspond to the radiation we've been following. Captain, the coded data seems to follow the same pattern obtained in the slaver's base. Our team can't undertake an investigation. We haven't found enough matches. Okay, so we've not done enough to be able uh, to do a real investigation. Let's put ourselves onto a balance power uh, ratio. Got one more ship that we want to grab some stuff from. There we go. Let's just take a quick look and see what we get. Okay, so we've got our protonite shipment. We'll use that later. Ooh. Light Plasma Cannon Mark III. That's better than our current one. Let's... Can we swap it out directly? Yep, there we go. We've just swapped it out. Excellent. You can see that that does more damage per second. Awesome stuff. Okay, so... Let's get ourselves home. Did we take any hull damage during that? It looks like we did take a few percentile points of damage. We now need to get back to the station. So let's spool up the drives. Now I think I'm going to do several episodes uh, on this. Uh, by virtue of the fact that I'd like to do the entire demo. Um, in one elongated play session. But I think it's going to be too long for you guys to watch a single video of. So what I'll do is I'll split this up into several episodes. And I think this, given that we've just finished our first kind of real mission is a very, very good time to end this. Now, guys, there will be a link to the game uh, in the description below, at least its Steam page, so you can download the demo uh, from its Steam page. Also, there's going to be a link to Between the Stars is Kickstarter, uh, if you are interested in supporting it, having played the demo. Docking permission, please. Station Control Tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Okay, folks. Receiving coordinates. Yes, indeed. Receiving Establishing coordinates. Establishing communication. Calm yourself. Docking protocol prepared. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I do really hope you've enjoyed this episode. We will be back for another one in a couple of days uh, so we can continue this wonderful story uh, for the demo. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen and I hope you are enjoying seeing more, uh, I suppose, up-and-coming, interesting sci-fi games. If you are, uh, please be aware that as a community, you are a massive help to me by identifying these things. Um, all of us, as you know, have only got limited time in the day. Uh, so one thing that I can't and none of us can do is uh, trawl through uh, potential up and coming game, uh, games all day long. So if you just happen to notice something while you're having a quick look, make sure you PM it to me and I will take a look myself. 
Uh, that is the best way that we can disseminate this information and make sure that the community gets to see all of it. And once again, a big thank you to Crumpet for bringing this to my attention. Thanks, fella. I'll see you in the next episode, folks. <laughs>